Hey, what's up, listeners? Just a reminder to check the description for any information mentioned in the episode. Also, contact the crew on Twitter at What's the Remedy, on IG at What's the Remedy Podcast, or email us at What's the Remedy Podcast at gmail.com with any questions, comments, concerns, or topics. And don't forget to give us five stars and leave a review on iTunes, SoundCloud, or YouTube. Now let's get this show started. Do you started. see how much y'all pick on me? Sheila E. Do you see how much y'all pick on me? Go ahead, Sheila. Sheila E. Yeah, yeah. You don't know nothing about no Sheila E. Bills coming early and your girl is the latest. And she's saying that she's down, but the crib always vacant. And you do a dollar's worth, but it's pennies that you making. And you trying to be the greatest. You got to get creative. When you're from the side of town where the kids hardly make it And you try to eat your mind But the pigs always hating And your freedom's on the line And the shields that you're facing And they try to be the greatest All right, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is What's the Remedy Podcast, your weekly conversation over mental health, uh, social issues, race, all the shit that plagues society. This is Dr. J. Day one. Ashley Ray. What's up, y'all? How y'all been? Great. Chill. That's good. I'm great. All right. <laughs> Does that sound are you, better, are you, y'all? Are you trying to warm up no, early? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm good. Yeah. No, that would, great. That, turn your radio down. Turn your radio turn down. Turn your radio down. Turn your radio down. Ready. Do you have the phrase that pays? <laughs> How was your weekend, Ash? It was awesome. It was awesome. What did I That's do? it? Oh, no, no. think out of my I'm about to uh, shout them she did. I went to see the Avengers movie. I mean, yeah. yeah that, that was your first time? Yeah, I went to go oh, see it. Yeah. And that's then, tough. Um, Proud of you didn't bootleg it. Let me move this because it's going to make noise. And I might play with shit. No, nah, that's fucked up because uh, you bootleg Black oh, Panther. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> we gonna talk, I oh, thought yeah, that I'm walking. Fucked up. Yeah, you did. Do I that. thought about that. Mm-hmm. You bootleg Black Panther, then you go see Infinity War. That's Damn, we gonna keep it. Okay, anyway. That's what's up. You come right. to the right anyway. side. Anyway. That's what I'm talking about. No, I yeah. don't really. I didn't like that movie. You didn't like the Avengers movie? No. Wow. I didn't like it. it. You probably didn't understand everything that was going on. I yeah. didn't understand. Don't yeah. talk to me like I didn't understand. I understood. Uh, so you're so you 10 years deep in it? Yeah. You, okay. you, from, you from Iron Man 1. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. I know them people. Yeah. I didn't know that was her daddy. But yeah, I was like, oh, y'all that was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. From oh, day well, one. Fuck yeah. Maybe I'm just zooming in. Never mind, y'all. Fuck it. You like, you like snippets and clips. Like, yeah. yeah, I didn't like Guardians you of the Galaxy. You were never really in, I'm not invested. A big fan. You're not invested in No, I'm not yeah. a big fan. I like Spider-Man, uh, uh, Iron Man. I mean, I like Black Panther, y'all. Brother Man. Brother Man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Well, how, was, that. how was your single de Mayo? I was good. Drunk a little. I ate crawfish. For a single de Mayo? Yeah, I didn't want no tacos. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's... I ate crawfish so and I... So you eat tacos for Juneteenth? Hmm. Okay, yeah. tacos for Juneteenth. I don't really... Okay, we gonna say oh, 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 anyway. You don't celebrate Juneteenth? That's what you were about to say. We got us another one. I know. I mean, what do we really... I'm gonna celebrate it this year, maybe. Nah, supposed you're to get you a nice piece of nigga apple. You know. Nigga apple. Anyway, don't talk like that. What? You don't know what a nigga apple is? What's a nigga apple? You don't know? Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, no, don't call it that. It's a nigga it's a, apple. Yeah. Oh, that's all wrong. Anyway, um. Anyway, watch. How was your weekend? Uh, I wasn't done. Oh, yeah, she ain't done because she's kidding me because I, I, I just went and got paid and got some money. So everybody I wasn't oh, done. Oh, went to this spot called Lola's, y'all. <laughs> y'all ain't ready. What is Lola's? It's a, like a. It's a white bar. I had fun. Oh, so I told you she coming over <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> I, had fun. I had experience like with Good. some men that Good. ain't black, but mm-hmm. let you know you are black. So it's like mm. That's interesting. I read an article today about people not dating black men, but that, I, that's uh, another subject. Yeah. yeah. I really But don't. you enjoy being around them non-black people? I mean, I'm cool, but you ain't got to let me know. Like They let us know like, man, y'all the most black people we had up in here. Yeah, and took a picture of us like we were Born. Y'all, y'all have been the white spot. Yeah. I was like, wow, this is really crazy. You can't just roll it no, in but, 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 that, but that's, that's the good time to do it because that's when they actually enjoy your, be being there. Yeah. But then when, more, when more of you start to come, that's when I'll shit. Yeah, I already there. know. But the bartender was black. Yeah. He took a picture. He was cool, but. He don't I, see that many black people in there either. Nah. <laughs> so, are so you happy too? He was cool. But I enjoyed it. I like mixing up. I went to the address too, but I love. Why? So you left the black spot early. Yeah, black spot too high. They drink 
at that margarita was fifteen dollars. Over Damn. there, uh, what you call it was three dollars. So I love Lola's oh, is cheap. Shit. So we got fucked up for uh, cheap. See how black people do you? I see. They try, they try to do inflation on you Hell and stuff like that. Yeah, I love. Hey. They do too goddamn much. That, that's a whole nother subject. Supporting <laughs> black business, man. Because uh, yeah, you know. I have some stories on that too. But how no, was your week? I, I did single de Mayo too. But I you was to, in therapy, right? Yeah, we therapy. were gonna go there. We was outside. They had three dollar margaritas so. though. We was outside so, and they were strong. But we what happened? I don't know what, what happened to you. I didn't think it was like a line or nothing. There. It wasn't. We came around like five, and then he was like, "Um, let's go. We were supposed to pick up on another person, and we didn't make it out because we were drinking again. So yeah, no, I went. Well, I went there about uh, almost four. It was like three something, almost four, and I stayed for a while because like I think mm-hmm. I got drunk, and then I was just there. At least they had three dollar margaritas. They had three dollar margaritas. They had like you could be, get a big picture of margaritas yeah, for like thirty that. or something like that. And, um, I mean, it was good. They had $5 Patron. Because I actually got a table, but I didn't go. Yeah, I had, we had a table, and then we had the hookah and all that. I mean, it was nice. It was a good look out there. Black. <laughs> that's that's what black people do, you know what I'm saying? But, I oh, mean, yeah. black people like to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. In fact, yeah. that one, the, one of the therapy was called, no like, next... Trapo de Mayo. Because yeah, they I like to that. put trap and everything, too. Yeah. Black people love the word trap. I'm saying black people for Cinco de Mayo. Black people was part of for St. Patrick's Day. Mm-hmm. That's we trying thing. to get cultured. No, we just like to have a reason to drink. That's it. It don't. It don't have to be nothing we really care about celebrating. But that's but that's the, that's kind of the funny part because like I say, Cinco de Mayo, St. Patrick, Juneteenth will roll around and nobody gonna do nothing. Yeah, anybody, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What y'all do on Juneteenth? Maybe. That's what I'm like. I ain't never did shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there'd be, like, little uh, barbecues or, or cookouts, like, in the hood sometimes. Yeah. They'll have, like, a Juneteenth. So the, the NAACP will throw, like, a block party that's little and don't nobody really know about it or something like that. But um, nobody really does, like, big shit for Juneteenth like they do no, for other people's holidays. Our black people is about to charge us a lot to get in somewhere. So yeah, they're going. I'm going. Somebody, you have to have a promoter. And then mm-hmm. <laughs> you're going to be like, hey, 10 to get in, 20 at the door. Like, it, it ain't like St. Patrick's Day where it's like all the bars are open with yeah. drink specials and all that. No, black people don't do that. They just walk in. How come we are so high? Like, the address was high. I Inflation like, because we, because. Because we're black. Pretty much. I mean, it's, it's just what we do, I guess. Shit was too high. I'm like, oh. Which, which we, we should be like throwing events and having like cheap stuff more than other places. Yeah. But we don't. We charge more. And, and it's, we, it's we, so and funny. We're like it's more exclusive. Because the parking lot is clear. Because people don't want to pay twenty dollars to park, right? Yeah. So they go like they charge you for everything, everything. At, a, at a black event, right? Yeah. But anywho, we gonna move on. All right, so our main segment today, we're going to talk about, because we discussed a few weeks ago, love languages. We talked about, you know, what, how we accept love and how we give love and all that kind of stuff and how oh, to yeah. talk to your partner about what their love languages are. Now, an extension of that love language conversation is what we call apology languages. Now, apology languages are basically how you feel, because we've discussed, like, whenever you're in a relationship, you're going to argue. It happens. Yeah, I don't know too many people that make it through a, a whole right. relationship without arguing. Mm. Some, argue. some more than others. But, I mean, at some point you're going to have an argument, so you need to know how to handle it or how to apologize. Now, some people need to learn how to apologize, but you also need to learn what kind of apology works for you to make you feel the most relieved or resolved about the situation. Because it's all about reaching a resolution. So what we did is there's a quiz on the Love Languages website, um, and there'll be a link in the details of this podcast episode. And in the details of this, just click on the link and it'll take you to the quiz. And the quiz is about 10, 15 minutes, just like the Love Languages quiz. And you just go through and answer questions about, you know, how you like people to apologize. So since we've already done it, we're going to go over our answers. Okay. Why well, you got to answer? Hmm? You want to go first? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I did it with it. I'm just going for it. I know what it is, though. Okay. Okay. What you got? Uh, mine was uh, a request forgiveness. That was my top one. That was your top one? Damn. Mm-hmm. That was my, that was my middle. bottom one. Like, I, I had none for what request is, forgiveness. What is request forgiveness? Is it, do you have an email? Oh, she looking at me up. I okay. can't even read all that. Oh, sorry, y'all. That's all right. I'll cut this shit out. I'm just letting it roll. B roll. All right. Uh, request forgiveness. 
In some relationships, a mate wants to hear their partner physically ask for forgiveness. They want assurance that their mate recognizes the need for forgiveness by asking by asking for forgiveness uh, for their actions. A partner is really asking their mate to still love them. Requesting forgiveness assures your mate that you want to see the relationship fully restored. It also proves to your man or to your mate that you are sincerely sorry for what you've done. It shows that you realize you've done something wrong. Requesting forgiveness also shows that you are, are willing to put the future of the relationship in the hands of the offended mate. You are leaving the final decision up to your partner to forgive or not to forgive. So, since that was your, that's your top one, yeah. how do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel like you, you want people to ask you to forgive them? Or is that that you feel like you have to ask for forgiveness when you do something wrong? Uh, that's kind of odd. It's just, it's just kind of like, I just want to... Versus I ask or they give whatever case may be. I just wanted to be understanding yeah. of, of two people to be like, hey, I know I fucked up or whatever case may be. And to acknowledge it to be like, hey, I understand I did something wrong. Let me apologize for that or I'm saying to do better to have that kind of discussion and versus put people just making, uh, being mad and everybody being petty and stubborn and not want to acknowledge when you're wrong about something. Yeah. Cause, cause no progress gets, happens if you don't do that. So, right. That's true. So, I mean, like, okay, so the big thing about forgiveness, because forgiveness has come up before in a lot of conversations, um, because people always be like, okay, so, for example, and this is, like, an extreme example, so, like, after, like, shooting victims, Mm -hmm. the family comes out, and they'll be like, you know, we forgive this person for what they did or whatever. How do y'all feel about forgiveness in that way? Because, I mean, basically, what you're saying about forgiveness is, you know, you're putting it on the other person that... You know, if you want it to be resolved, it's up to you to forgive or whatever. How do y'all feel about forgiveness for like blatant atrocities like that? I believe it's not genuine to to forgive or to give forgiveness for that. I, I believe a lot of people forgive people in situations because that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm, what I'm saying. I agree with that. Yeah, I'm not probably gonna forgive you deep down. But... I think I think it's a it's a it's a mix of like so people will forgive you or they'll say they forgive you mm-hmm. because it makes them feel better. Like it doesn't really, they don't necessarily think any better of you. Like mm-hmm. it's not that type of forgiveness oh where gosh. they're like, where they're like, Oh yeah, well I forgive you and we can be cool again. It's like, I forgive you because I just that's don't want to be mad no more. Right. Yeah. I'm tired of being mad. Like that's it don't have shit to do with you. That's actually good. Cause I just seen like somebody, I mean, well, I just talked to somebody like I used to talk to like an ex and I just thought about like when he was talking, I mm-hmm. really still got them emotions. Like, I forgave them, but I still don't want to fuck with you like that. Yeah. You say, for, like, a lot of people, the forgiveness, and that's why I say forgiveness. So, have I really kinda... forgave him? Because I keep breaking that stuff all came back when the nigga was talking. I was well, like, mm mm. It, it's, it's a form of forgiveness because at the end of the day, you could be around that person. Yeah. Without, 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 without going whatever. Out, yeah. Yeah, but at the end of the day, our like like intention stops here. It. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like you're bringing up, I didn't like how he brought up good things. Like, he was like, how we used to be. Mm-hmm. And he was like, man, you you a good person, blah, blah, blah. But all I kept thinking about was, nigga, do you remember the bad shit? Because, like, I, I keep bringing, I keep thinking about you were a fucked up individual. Well, that's a quick way to piss somebody off. Because, like I say, when somebody does that, that's kind of like them not acknowledging the, the situation. Because they feel like if somebody comes to you and have a full conversation with you, and after so many years, and they don't acknowledge none of the bad shit. They talk about all the good stuff y'all used to do. It kind of makes you feel that you either don't give a shit, or you used to oblivious to all the negative shit that you did. I think it's oblivious. Yeah, like so, they're just not. They don't care. And that, and that, piss, that pisses people off because yes. it's like you know what you did, and they looking at you like did what? It must have been my. You know, let's see everybody that used to fuck with this weekend, and they acting like everything okay. Well, everything is cool. But it's just like we ain't friends like that. Let's just be. Yeah. Let's let's move around. And so I guess it kind of depends on what your particular definition of forgiveness is. Cause like okay, so if I'm if I want somebody to ask me for forgiveness, mm-hmm. like let's say somebody like because we're talking more about relationship stuff now. So mm-hmm. let's say that they just your partner says something to you mm-hmm. that was just like out of line, like they were dead wrong, and then they don't come out till later on that they were wrong. Should they say that, can you forgive me for being wrong? Like, would that make you feel better for them to say, can you forgive I, me? I, was I, wrong? Think, I think for most people it would, because it's that person come out on their own acknowledging 
hey, I was, I fucked up. Because like in, in your heart, you know why you mad. You know what they did, whatever. But I think it takes a lot for the person to come up to you and be like, hey, I know what happened was fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for that. And I think you feel a bit better because you're like, I didn't have to tell you that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have to, to tell you, you know what you did to me, whatever. No, you acknowledge it and we put it out there. So like you say, you still might feel some pain from it or whatever, but you'd be like, I appreciate them saying that. Yeah. And that's, I, I guess, and uh, for me, that don't work for me. And yeah. so I guess that's why I request forgiveness I, I don't think I can. For, I don't think I'll forget. Never gonna forget. I don't, I don't think forgetting is part of forgiveness. I, I hate when people say forgive and forget because yeah, I don't think that's I don't really think I, And it still feels like I'm not forgiving when I still think about it because it should be gone, right? Well, no, yeah. I, I think that part of forgiveness is for it to leave your mind at least in your immediate consciousness. Like it shouldn't be anything that you still think about on a regular. And I don't like, think about on a regular, but when I, they start talking, shit just start popping back in my head like, nigga, we are not like, okay. I mean, but I mean, you, but there, you're there's a like difference between, okay. okay, but there's a difference between like forgiving somebody to the extent of, um, you know what they did wrong and you're not going to deal with them on that level anymore. Uh-huh. And then like saying, I forgive them. And then we can just go back to how it used to be. Cause that's not necessarily going to happen. True. Not in a lot of situations, especially with somebody like an ex. Like even like an a ex, friend, no, or a friend, friend that you don't really talk a to. Friend, like you be like, nigga, we was real close, but now you burnt your bridge, and you still want to be my homegirl, and I still can't. I got that issue too. I'd be like, no, nah. that's kind of a grudge, though. That's not a grudge. I just no, don't trust I, nobody that's gonna no, and, me and like and that. That's what it is too. Like I said, I got some partners with if I was tight with when we was younger, and we can be in a place together. Yeah. Like we'll see some at an event, whatever, and we'll talk, we we'll laugh, we we'll joke, but I'm not going away with you. Right. I'm not gonna call come, you. I don't want to come to your event. Yeah, I'm not gonna call feel you. Some or, type of way. Or exchange numbers and then like that because yeah. you're not cool like that. Yeah, we still shake hands, dap up yeah. whenever I see you in I public. Have no but that's problem it. with yeah. that, but yeah. no, I don't want to be there. Yeah, I mean, I guess that, like I said, that's part of forgiveness, and for me, that's not at the top. And I'll go next since okay. we'll let Ashley go last. Hmm. So my my top one was actually actually it was almost a split between these two because my make restitution was my number one, but uh, genuinely repent was number two, but it was only number two by like one point. Like they had like a one point difference. Now make restitution. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, yeah. but basically what make restitution it means is that when somebody apologizes to me. I expect for them to kind of give me what they're going to do to correct it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like that ties in almost directly for me to genuinely repent. Cause that's my number two. Cause genuinely repent means that you have to believe that there's some sincerity to what they're saying. Like they are asking you, they're saying, Hey, I see what I did wrong. I acknowledge how I hurt you. I acknowledge what I did and I, I see what I did wrong and I really want to make it right. Like, and that to me, those two things go together make restitution and repent like so if you know that you did something wrong then prove to me that there's something that you want to do to make it right oh they gotta prove something not and not i'm That's not what saying like, said. not like go out of their way <laughs> but like, <laughs> like but like like just oh um, like basically let's i almost say, see it from but I'm, let's say if somebody if somebody like we get in an argument and they say like we arguing about some food type stuff, like some groceries, like a small argument, but it just blows up to an extent. And then the person that you arguing with realizes that they were wrong about it. Like they wanted to buy this pasta and that was the wrong pasta to buy. And we got into it about it and I'm, they find out that it was wrong. He's like, you know what? Let me cook dinner. I'm going to go get the pasta, blah, blah, blah. That, that's making restitution to me. Like I see that I did something wrong. I'm going to try to fix it. Let me up. fix it. Okay. That's that's what my number one was, was make restitution. Because I, I think that when somebody talks to me or when I get into it with somebody, I want them to fix it. Mm-hmm. Don't just tell me, hey, I'm sorry. I know what I did wrong. And then that's the end of it. That's not enough. Right. Or say, hey, can you forgive me? I mean, I can, but I need to know that you understand what was wrong and you doing something to fix it. Mm-hmm. And so I guess that's why that's my number one. Oh. Do y'all, and, and so my question to y'all is, so where does where does make restitution fall on yours? Cause you said it was at the bottom of yours. Golly, huh? it is at the bottom. Hold on now. Hold I on. Mean, Let me go back up. Let me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I got zero. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't even so, on my damn I mean, list. And it's, it's not necessarily that you don't like it. It's that you don't really care for it. Maybe oh. maybe that's not at the top of your list of somebody apologizing. I think I think you. all these damn quizzes is full of shit. Cause I got my first one is express expressing regret 
And it's mostly talking about like body language, like taking ownership of the wrong for the reason, understanding it's a sin. What the heck? So, Eye contact. Like everything is like, you know what? I am like that. I need you to sit in front of me and basically and, and acknowledge everything yes, that you did. You need to talk and like we need to sit down. You need to yeah. tell me I'm sorry. You I need, am like you want to feel their sincerity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, I am like that. Yeah. Do you want to hear no bullshit? You want to look at them in their you face and stuff right. and be like, hey, so I can slap your ass. So you okay, I'm sorry. See? There, you <laughs> go. there you go. But even no. with even with my friends, I want to sit there and have a conversation because that shit texting, that ain't gonna work. Um, talking on the phone ain't gonna work. If I'm face to face with you and looking at your body language, and you like, man, I'm so sorry. I can tell you apologizing. Yeah, like I say, somebody really apologizing to you, or somebody just kind of just saying some shit. It's like, hey, man, you know I was tripping, blah blah blah, and moving, kind of not looking yeah. at you and stuff. Like, yeah, bitch, we, you got drunk this weekend, and you, you know, you fucked up, lost my money. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. okay. True story. Okay. Nah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but okay. So that's probably so, why man. that's probably like why make your make restitution answers weren't so high because you're not so worried about somebody fixing it. You want to actually see and feel the regret from them. Yeah. And it I is. I don't really I don't, I don't need that. Like I can read that. <laughs> you want to you wanna feel their tears. You want to watch them cry. cry. You want to watch them cry. <laughs> cry, bitch. Cry. No, it's lame. It's lame. <laughs> no, you want to watch somebody cry? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like tears. Yeah. So, does anybody have accept responsibility on that? I do. That's my take. I was in between accept responsibility and request forgiveness. Okay. I was going to say, because my... Um, you know that? It's very difficult. So. Accept responsibility was like number three for me, but I don't really know. I think it's my second one. Yeah. That was your second one? I think you read that. Huh? I, feel yeah. like, I feel like that's a basic part of an apology, though. Like, you're supposed to accept responsibility if you apologize. It. True. Some people don't, though. Yeah, that's true. Some people apologize. Don't really accept. like... Yeah, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah, like, I like, said like, that shit before. Yeah, like flying like back to the, to, the, to the nigga that hit me in the car, or whatever. I guess it wasn't our day. Yeah, okay. what, the, what the fuck, <laughs> nigga? That was your fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that me the fuck off. Like really? That's yeah. an apology. I can't. I can't see somebody giving an apology without. Just, if you don't accept apo- uh, accept responsibility when you apologize, then I don't think that it's That's really. A, it's not a good an apology. apology, right? Like, it's, like, you got to at least, I mean, if, if we can discuss it. We can talk about it. Like, okay, I say it's my fault, and this is what I think we could have done differently. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But say, because I know that I do it sometimes, and, I, and I've and i worked on it for a while now. But I'll, usually I'll say something like, okay, I understand what I did, but, and, yeah. I, and I do that a lot, but I feel like that's okay. Yeah. And it may not be okay for everybody, because I, I accept the responsibility for it. I don't but at like the same that. time, I want to. I want to get you, to a resolution. You think you're wrong. You think you're right. That but is not. But but is just saying that there's no, a part ain't no of what but. I said that was right. Right. You think you're right. Nobody will hear that. But just apologize so we can get on about our lives. See, but if I Man. apologize, then you're all the way right. And, all, so, and that's that's all right. <laughs> that, that's that. It's, it's an issue. But is an issue. It's not, it yeah, is I know. an issue, but but, but it's an issue. Yeah, but it's always an issue. I know that. And that's why I say I, it's something I have worked on over time. But they are saying but in anything is, is usually going to be a deterrent in your mm-hmm. apology. You, <laughs> if you're going to accept responsibility, you're supposed to accept responsibility all the way. Yeah. He's so, a damn but or however. Yeah. I, I mean. However. I did. I fucked up. But I mean, like. You shouldn't have you been should, in the yeah. first place. <laughs> what you was doing going through my phone anyway. Damn. Yeah. You just going to stop. Just walk up in the club. You said you was asleep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, and that's a, True that's story. a common response. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a apologize, <laughs> but you in the wrong. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, I was talking to so and so, but I mean, why are you here? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Mm. Like you gotta, you gotta change the subject and stuff, and it, it's just, it, it's a not a, it's not a good apology if you do that. Yeah. And so that's that's one of the things, and that's why I say accept responsibility for me was just like a given for an apology. Yeah. And so I didn't think there should be that high on my list at least. But some people, like you said, if you haven't experienced somebody giving a genuine apology and accepting responsibility. That might be first on your list when you take the quiz because you'd be like, nope, <laughs> yep, this nigga need to say he did it. And then that's, that's how all your answers going to yeah. be on there. That's that's what I'm finna put. Nah. But yeah, so if you get a chance, so we're going to end with that because that, that's, we pretty much covered all five because mm-hmm. there's five different languages and those are the five apology languages. So once you get on, click the link and go ahead and look at those. Good, look at the quiz, take it, see where you end up, discuss it with your partner, discuss it with your friends because... 
Mm-hmm. A lot of this stuff happens with your friends and family too. Like you get into arguments with your brothers and sisters, your mama, your your friends in the group chat, all of them. My Everybody need to learn how to apologize. apologize. That's what I said. Your Everybody. mama apologizes. My mom is good at apologizing. Mm. My dad didn't, and so I pick up a lot of his habits. Your mom. My mom apologizes. My dad doesn't. Yeah. My parents ain't never apologized. My mom would. My mom was good about it. My dad yeah. wasn't. Yeah, my, 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 my mom. She knows when she's wrong. My dad's like, he's like pulling teeth. I get apologize. My mom is like, you hungry? <laughs> that's her apology. I mean, for some you people, they they feel like that is an apology. And I think people need to get away from that. I think that. that's horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. But she doesn't believe she's wrong. Like I can tell her like you're wrong. She'd be dead ass wrong. She's just gonna be quiet. That's it. That and that's usually people's go to because then. If I'm quiet or I, I just change nothing. the subject yeah. or I do something else, then I don't ever have to say I'm sorry. Basically, I don't ever have to. I don't ever I have think. to accept responsibility for what I did. I, re- I remember my dad. Uh, it was something. I mean, it was something like just small as a TV, whatever. I was about to go buy a TV. He ended up buying one for me, and it was like they told me how much it was, so that's how much I owed him. Yeah. And I was like, I just told him, I say, don't do that no more. And stuff like that. I say, I say, yeah, cause I was looking at stuff, just don't do that no more. And I went to another room. He came in the room and went the fuck off. I was yeah. like, I ain't gotta do shit else for you, blah, 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 this and that. Then I explained my reasoning for telling you that is you don't know where so I'm spending money at. Or if I already have bought something else. Right. Or yeah. you already so, bought the but, TV. Yeah, but but you but you gonna buy something and then tell me yeah, uh yeah. I owe you money on it. It might not have been in my price range. Right. And he was like, he had to look like, oh. But he didn't apologize. Yeah, no. Was I was like, gonna say my dad would do something similar, and he would just like he would he would he would double down on what he said and yeah. then walk out. Yeah. Like it don't matter if he if he sees that he's wrong, mm-hmm. he'd be like, well, well, I mean, I, I done did it for you anyway, and he'll walk out. Like that'd That's be crazy. Him. But then he'll come back like like when is when I was younger, and so he'll come back a few hours later and be like, hey, uh, no, come out here and help me with this car real quick. Yeah, and that'd be the extent. Like, the, yeah, it wouldn't. No apology came. I'm, nothing. I cook some chicken. Yeah, I cook some pork chops. My yeah. mom's real good. I cook, some, I cook some pork chops. Come no, and I like pork quick. chops. Hey, hey, come in here, eat real quick. I made some food. God damn it! Or he'd be like, "I'm, I'm finna roll by Popeyes real quick. I'm picking you but up something." I got like, there's, there's no apology in there. I used to be like, "I don't want none of that." I'm so like, I'm you good. hungry? No. Nope. Yeah, you want, yeah, I'm gonna get something to eat. But I know something. I'm gonna be like that too, so it don't matter. You don't have to be like that though. I don't care. You are in here with us. We are progressing. I'm progressing too. I'm not apologizing. No, that's how that progression. I mean, it is what no, it is. Not. No, that's that's trash. <laughs> that's word of that's trash. 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 Don't you call me trash? Call no, trash. that trash. is trash. Your, okay. your perception of things my is trash bad. right now. I apologize. Like, oh, my bad. But I'll tell your kids it, that it you takes, apologize. I'm, I'm not saying. apologize to no damn kids. See, that's that's why we don't know how to apologize now. Because our parents don't apologize. Nobody, that's what I'm saying. What I look like telling somebody I'm sorry. You <laughs> look like a, a an adult, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you, <laughs> but you know what? I do tell my niece I'm sorry. She always be like, don't say that. Like, I can't say shut up or what I can't say around her. Uh, whatever. They don't want to say that. And she be like, don't say that. I was like, I apologize. You're right. Okay, but there's gonna be a, there's gonna come a time. But I want to slap her you, sometime. Well, you where you gonna have a kid? And I'm and I'm not talking about apologizing to little kids because she was apologizing to little yeah. kids all the time. I'm talking about apologizing to like a thirteen year old that has proved you wrong. You got because me. you you never the let them wrong. know you wrong. That's when you don't have the upper and hand. That's anymore. why we fucked up in the head now. And yes. you could call it what you want. I'm not apologizing. I'm just letting you know. I don't want no thirteen year old. That's, but that's, just imagine a thirteen year old you talking shit. I need to let her know, Ashley Junior. You ain't getting away with this shit. What if she is absolutely ass. right? She might be. I was, and they they really didn't apologize. I wasn't really allowed to talk. That, but I'm saying like what we came up through <laughs> you kept in the attic. was not <laughs> right. <laughs> My mom was like, "Why should we talk so damn you much?" Know, she was a fly. I already in the had attic. a question. She was like, "Shit." Nah, because we what happens is you tell these kids that I mean, you, if you always constantly telling them that they're wrong, and then they actually believe it, they don't. They grow up and they get into relationships where they can't be wrong either. Oh, that's what's happening right now for me. So, like, you, oh. you were getting into a point where you don't even know how to apologize. You don't even know how to argue because your parents won't argue. Don't, don't talk to me. It's going for business. And they, they, they hit you with that. You don't argue with an adult. But the so majority well, what if, what of men person, will not apologize for something. Oh, I know that. Do. That's what I was going to say that. Oh, that's what I said. That's what I said. We both said our dads the one that didn't apologize. Toxic masculinity. Yeah. Toxic masculinity. Yeah, I, was not, I used to tell him, dude, like, hey, you got to apologize. He was like, I can't do that. Yeah, because it, it makes you vulnerable. Because being apology, being apologetic. Looks like you, a punk. Yeah. 
it makes you vulnerable and you have to but the thing is i i've learned to get to a point where i'm secure enough in myself yeah. to where i can be like i can be vulnerable and you still not gonna tell me I'm any less of a man. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I can apologize to them yet. So can you we'll apologize see. to other people? Yeah, I'm no problem. Even if you think that they're beneath you. Yes, nothing's wrong with me. Apologize, I'm wrong. Oh, okay. But, I'm, but when it comes to a kid. A kid? I you're gonna need uh, all I'm saying is people need to change that mindset before they have kids. Cause then you're gonna have a kid and you're gonna treat your kid and just I, like you got treated, then they're gonna be so, as maladjusted as you are. Oh, I don't want Paul Ashley Jr. being like me. Mm-hmm. Too you, bad, so sad. <laughs> <laughs> you keep treating Ashley Jr. like you say you're gonna treat her. <laughs> She's gonna be fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make sure you keep my card on hand. By then, I have a whole team. I'm gonna ask you everything your she said. <laughs> what she say? She's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me. I'm gonna put somebody on her, and I'm gonna be enough. I'm gonna put somebody mm-hmm. on her so she can get help because <laughs> she's gonna be like, my mama has treated me so wrong for my entire life. Yes. Are you Serious? I love you, girl. That's how they do you. Mm-hmm. They they don't apologize. They don't do nothing. Yeah, so they just tell you they love you. You can say, "Ashley Junior, I love you, girl." I took some pork chops. Come get them. Yeah. Trickle down. Okay, that's what she that's did. exactly what happened. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move on, man. But that was that was the check yourself. So make sure you check that out. Read, ah, do the quiz. Holler at your people. Tell them what your results were, so y'all can talk about it. We're gonna move on though okay. to the line about segment. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. They lying so, about what you lied about today. So, well, yeah, first thing, <laughs> so our line about segment is basically over everything that's going on pop culture, social media, just random conversations that we've seen or whatever on social media. But what they got on one Twitter. of the main things was this Childish Gambino video that just came out a couple of days ago. Oh, he's so fine. Yeah, okay. That's what's up. You like to, you like him dancing with his shirt off? Oh, yeah. yeah. He had the so dad bod going yeah, on. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> I'm talking about he need to put his shirt back on. I like that. Keep that. You that's like that, that's that normal. Little, little push. Yeah, like that's little normal, push. though. To me, that's I'm about normal. I'm going to start dancing. We like the party. Yeah. yeah. Party just for you. Yeah. I'm going to throw my shirt off. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what I'm Let my hair grow out a little bit. Yeah. 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 But so how did it no play? You, what did y'all think about the video? Nobody. Besides Charles Gambito being fine, what do you think about the video? The video? Yeah, what did I get from it? Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, from? y'all. When I seen the video, it was Sunday. I was already fucked up. So, <laughs> yeah. it came on my Instagram. I'm like, this nigga just shoot somebody? Yeah. And I was like, I gotta watch this later. Because everybody kept mm-hmm. reposting it. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, I gotta watch this later. It must be something like, because I know this militant dude on the page. So, it must be something mm-hmm. about pro-black or something. So I was like, okay. So I finally watched it, but I was so distracted with the dance moves, I had to watch it so many other times. They was killing that hoe. Yeah, they were, he was dancing. He was dancing his ass off because yeah. everybody was like, "You got to watch behind." But I shit, the second time I ain't watched behind. But. Yeah, I watched behind. Like that's what I did. The second time I watched it, I looked. I tried not to look at him at all. Yeah, so the I second see time. Else going that's on. me third. But it's. I guess I was more. I didn't want to read what other people were saying. Right. But I was just like, okay, so he shot somebody, and then they. They dragged the man off, and that I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was jamming. Then all of a sudden, I got oh no, don't do that! Like I got scared, especially when he shot the choir up. Like yeah, that was that was rough. It was kind of yeah. rough. Yeah, it's hard for me to. It's but maybe the video was supposed to do that. I was partying, then hit a real shit. Then I'm back partying, hit a real shit again. Well, it's real life. Cause that's how we do. This is America. Yeah, this is America. We 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 dancing and cooling and doing it kind of made shit. my feelings go up and down. Like. Oh, but 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 that's the whole point too. You see how they were dancing, then some shit happened. Yeah. And it's like oh, it's like a pause, and then back to dancing and shit again. True. And that's how shit is. We we take a moment for the bad shit to happen, but then we go back to the, like, what's the new dance craze? What's yeah. the new this and that? I, it, it used to be called like a twenty four hour news cycle. I think the news cycle is down to like fifteen minutes now. Like yeah. it, it, it'll be every every anymore. every couple of hours you can have a new story or a new dance. One of the two. And I think that's what he was trying to portray there. That well, like I said, you watch, goes in and out. You watch the, like I said, if you watch the news now, like I watch like MSNBC and like nighttime people like Rachel Maddow and stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. I like her. She'll come on and she be like, yeah, we had a show like yeah. two hours ago. She'll tell the truth like, yeah. we got something else now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? we got some more shit that's happening. <laughs> yeah, and I like stuff. how she's and you, and you kind of like, that's how the news cycle is where they can't yeah. even set up a show two hours beforehand because shit, so much happened. shit didn't happen. Yeah. So that, what did y'all get from it? 
That and I'm think that's what I basically got from. It. Besides the fact that like all the chaos is going on in the background, like yeah. I think, and that's what I got from when I first watched it. Now, I, after I watched it a couple times, I started reading other people's takes on yeah. that stuff. But even from the beginning, what I noticed was he's dancing while a lot of other shit is going on. Like I couldn't yeah. really pick out all the shit till I started reading some of the takes. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way but, I could pick it out because I can't yeah. stop watching the fucking dancing. Well, I, I stopped watching the dancing. No, you know I'm a jigging, I'm a jigging was, motherfucker. Was I was brutal. like, I gotta learn that move, and it's really fucked up. But I was just like, I gotta. Yeah, okay. but and that's exactly how it is because like when he was doing a little shoot dance, yeah, everybody like, was like, he's hitting that though. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was hitting hell. But out of it, like, like you see, like that, like in my interpretation, like death riding on a pale horse, whatever. Yeah, he was shooting when that when the horse rode by, but. He's shooting that hoe though. Yeah. I'm like, ain't nobody seen the damn horse. Shoot. A, you know, yeah. shoot. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, he was in there though. I was like, but ain't nobody seen this shit. Because for a minute, I kept saying, like, it's people with cameras. Oh, it's like, oh, the kids on top of their cameras. I had to keep watching it. Because like, like, the people damn. taking, uh, after he shot somebody, they come and take the gun with care, handle it yeah, with care. Yeah, handle it with care. And yeah. see, and I saw that the first time I watched it, but I thought that they were just like wiping off the prints. But then Me when too. I went back and watched it again, like they are laying it like in some like red velvet yeah. Yeah. cloth. Every time Why everybody ready, else is just getting drugged. While they all drag the bodies out. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, okay. So, the part good. where he lit up the blunt and then he ran off? No, he started dancing again. That's when he danced on top of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's my point. My bad. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it, yeah. it was a lot. Of, it was a lot going on in that video. It was, it was the, the part when they started dancing with the kids again right before they went to the choir. Mm-hmm. Like, if you look in the background of that part, it's a bunch of kids like on the back of the car and they had like the little money gun, whatever, shooting in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, yeah I'm right? just like, what the fuck? But that's what I see on Instagram all the time yeah. with these new rappers. Yeah. I, well, it's new kid rappers. I don't know where y'all be getting these guns yeah. and shit from. But that's all they that's be showing. They, do, though. they be tattoo face up. Tats with weird hair color, mm-hmm. and that's what the kids are doing now, man. You just I'm have to be around kids, music. really. Stem. If you're around kids enough, you start seeing them do all of that. But I, I think overall, the video had a decent message, and it was deep. Like it was you a lot it? to see. Yeah, I liked it. I mean, it, it was cool for what it was, and I, I think that he's showing his versatility because I mean, yeah. he, he's an artist. Like this ain't nothing like Redbone, no. or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So this is a whole different. Have sound. you seen his comedy special? I haven't seen his comedy special. I've seen almost everything he's done except him do stand up. Yeah. You gotta watch his stand up on Netflix. Okay, I it's called Weirdo. It. You seen it? No, I haven't seen it. You, yeah, I have to watch. I think that one. I understand him more because I watched that he talked about how his uh, family took care of foster kids. Mm-hmm. It was all different kind of kids, like black, Mexican, and he's like, Yeah, because yeah. you, you know they're jumping on him because he has a white wife. Is that true? Yeah, he has a white wife, yeah. and they have kids and stuff. But I mean, that's life. How yeah, you I mean, feel he, about he, that? Well, he he actually spoke on that before because he said that like when he was growing up, mm-hmm. he used to always want a black woman. He always wanted to talk to black women, but he was weird. He's always been weird. He he doesn't deny the I fact like, that he's weird. I like men like that, but they won't talk to me. When we were in high school, though. No, I like them now. No, but I'm talking yeah, about when we were in high school. Yeah. I like them then too. You like the kids that were sitting in the corner playing like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff? I was probably playing with them. <laughs> oh, well, shit. I guess. You mean that bad one? I, I have a, uh, I know a homegirl or whatever. She, uh, her and her dude go like to gaming things and like Comic Con and some other stuff, whatever. Oh, Comic Con uh, was this weekend, yeah, huh? Yeah, no, it's a, no, it's a Memorial weekend. I've seen somebody go this week. I don't know the, 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 the one they have, the big one in Houston is Memorial weekend. Oh, okay. Ooh. But, um, no, I'm saying, but the way she looked though, you'd be like, why is she here? So I just know. Like some people don't think people have that kind yeah, of side to it. I like different yeah. things. I like, but he, I like artists. He did, y'all would say that's weird, but it's artsy type. But, of pe- stuff but people, but people keep them. But people like don't know you have that side to you because some people no. don't be around you enough to like to know that. Right, and so like what he was saying about his whole thing was in high school and all that time he was always trying to talk to black women, but it wasn't really working out. Like I me, mean, he had something he talked to, but it just never worked out because he's so weird. Mm-hmm. Like he's really weird. So only white women accept that. Who, this white woman did. I'm not saying only white woman would, but this is the one that he found. I was available because she probably. And then, like I say, a lot of the spaces that he was in, whatever she right. was, she was there. Yeah. That, that kind of people were there because he he was on like a lot of white people stuff. Like white yeah, he was shows. A, he, he was a writer for Thirty Rock. He, yeah. Oh, it makes sense now. Yeah. I, okay. He was, he was on around that, a lot uh, of white people. I mean, I remember seeing him on the Mars movie. Was it was that Mars? Mars? Yeah. yeah, no, he wasn't he was on, Mars, on Mars. On a Martian. Martian, my bad. Matt Damon? Oh, okay. Matt Damon. He was the smart dude. Yeah, he was the dude. smart dude that came yeah. in at the end and stuff yeah, yeah, like that. I like but that. no, he was a writer for 30 Rock and then he had that show, uh, Community. Community. Yes. 
Yeah. See? So he did like a lot of white people stuff first. So a lot of black people are jumping on him because they're like now he's using black culture to get ahead or whatever. But I mean, he's I don't been think he's black. Using, I don't think he's using it to get yeah, ahead. Yeah, I can't use black culture when I'm actually black. It's not. Yeah. I'm not appropriating black it, culture. Do you, see how, do you see how black people are though? Well, yeah, well we, just, we, we really we just, analyze we, a lot we, more than what we need to and just be like, oh, we'll kick you out. We just talked about inflation at parties and shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? For events like that white people and Hispanic people are having for $3, we, we charge to 15 kill, Yeah. And basically keeping people outside and shit. Right. Basically. You know That's what, what, what they were doing. Holding the line they shit. were yeah. holding in line. Not when I got there, but... But yeah, so, I mean, I think that that's, that's the big thing. But speaking of him moving to the black side... The last episode of Atlanta. So like his, he went from, and he was a good writer. That's the other thing. So I don't want to put that past him. Like he was a good writer on 30 Rock. He was a good writer on, he was good on community and all the stuff he did for the white people, mm-hmm. yeah. quote unquote. But then now he's starting to move into the black side. So he right. does Atlanta and Atlanta is a great show. You think that, excuse me. I think what? You think it's a great show. I like it, but it's a lot of black people that don't. Yeah. I mean, but. People don't, people don't like certain episodes. Like I've seen people talk about certain episodes. I've seen people talk like, about what? this episode, and I like this episode. Me too. This it's, episode was real life for real. That's how I feel in school. It bothers me when I hear like the critiques on this season or whatever, because the season this season has a central theme, mm-hmm. Robin, Robin season. season. Yeah, but you have people talking about they don't get it or whatever. Oh, this don't make no sense because it's like we're so like microwave society that oh, we looking for comedy. We're looking to laugh about some shit, whatever. Uh, yeah. And if you have to think too hard, people like don't get it or want to. They like they feel like I it, can't it, lie, it, y'all. That, time. that Teddy Perkins shit scared the hell out of me. I don't watch that shit no yeah, more. I mean, it's real deep. Like, like people are, and the funny thing is, people are praising him for the depth of this. Yeah. This is America video, but every episode has been like having some kind of depth to it. So yeah. we're like. There's a service level story, but there's a whole lot going on. The Teddy Perkins episode just happened to be real deep. Yeah. And then, uh, this, we'll this episode class, was even yeah. kind of deep, um, about the Fubu jersey. So we'll give a quick rundown if y'all haven't seen it. Uh, so basically it shows Earn back when he was in like, I guess middle school. Yeah. He was in middle school. His mom was in Marshalls. I, I hate that they threw Marshalls out there like that. Was <laughs> Marshalls? Uh, yeah. That was Marshall Joe? Yeah. Marshalls had he real was, shit. That's that's what I said. I yeah. think Marshall's at real. I thought shit. he was at like nah, the thrift store. Nah, he went to oh my bad. Nah, he said it in the show. He's like, no, nah, I got this from Marshall's. And oh okay. Was, I, was, I was mad though, dog, because Marshall's my shit. Dog. Yeah, I still get shit from I, Marshall's. I used to I get, going to back in the day. I used to get them them heel figures and them uh, polos and stuff. Yeah, like they had all the polos. Yeah. <laughs> For real. And I'm, I'm going there when they I they had polo. They used to be polo down. Yeah, you right. But but anyway, so he went to Marshall's and got a Fubu jersey. But I do remember. Just a sidebar. I do remember that fake Fubu controversy because it, nigga, there used to be a lot of fake Fubu, but you used to get them at the uh the flea market. Yeah, like when you go to the flea market, you get all the fake Fubu, so, and it would and it really would be missing that patch. Yeah, and so that was real, but I I just I couldn't hold Fubu. down for Marshalls. Oh, uh, I had yeah, Fubu. they tried to hold Marshalls, and I thought yeah, that was messed I, up. I never got the Fubu. You never got the Fubu. Well, I, used I had to have a Fubu. Fubu. Shirt. I had some fake too. With like the fake platinum, remember the platinum yeah, came out? I had a couple of fake ones. I had some real I had ones, a but I had some fake ones. And then I had a Wu Tang shirt. Platinum football, well, platinum football. That was the, the uh, with Fat Albert. I had, I had, had Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yeah, I had Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. That, was good. that was back when Iceberg was. Yeah, yeah. Iceberg. Yeah. Was saying. I remember dudes yeah. wearing that. Got the Daffy Duck on the shirt. And yeah, shit, you know what I'm saying? that was that was a big time back then. Put all the cartoon characters on. That. That's when you had, well, yeah, like the Lord units and shit. But did you see how that white boy? Trying to check South out. Pole. Oh, South Pole. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he, he took me back. He stayed in Texas and shit wearing Valoo units and yeah. shit. I had yeah. a Sean Jones. I had a Sean Jones. I sure was killing my Valoo shirt up. Look like I was on camera. Look like I was on the camera on video and shit. Nigga had the full Valoo suit with some forces on. I had a baby blue one. You know what I'm saying? So with some white forces on. Killing that up. I'm just looking at you. Killing it up. Oh, my God. We did wear that. I don't want nothing. I don't want to see none of those pictures ever. They were fresh. I, I, used to, I had fresh like the, two or three of them. Fresh in the bitch. Like like you used to have the blue jean suits too. Oh yeah, the shiny. What the you talking about? The, the blue jeans. Blue jean the shiny. The shiny suits. 
It was like it was like yeah. the, the blue jean material, was a shiny material. Yeah, blue jean jacket, blue jean pants match. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, we was fresh. He was like the pants. I used to know what that that top. The top. I say like, fuck that shit. Would you wear like white tee with that whole? Yeah, some fresh. Jeans? I liked when dudes wear that. I was like, that's everything cute. I bet you did. You look like one of them girls. Yeah, you did. What you mean? I look like one of those girls. I like you like that. The baby fat girl. Yeah, I ain't never had baby fat. With the black halter top. Yeah, your jersey dress. Huh? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Jersey. But anyway, back to the topic. Uh, so anyway, he had the food jersey. He had the fake one on, mind you, because he didn't have the patch. And the other little dude had the patch on his jersey. <laughs> and they were clowning, talking about, ah, you got fake shit on. And then so he got his cousin Alfred to stand up for him. And he was like, nah, my nigga got on the real shit. That nigga got on fake shit. So then they started going hard on the other nigga because uh, they called his jersey fake. And so they end up coming back at the end. And this is a spoiler if you haven't seen Atlanta already. So, oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. Yeah. But anyway, so when they come back to school the next day, they find out that the kid that had the real food jersey on actually killed himself when he went home that night because his parents were going through a divorce and they were having financial problems and all that kind of stuff. And so he was already depressed, really. And so when everybody started clowning him for his jersey, it just made it worse. So he killed himself. Think about if he went home and he got into an argument with his dad about buying a fake jersey. And now his dad, his son is dead and his dad thinks it's his fault. Oh my God. I didn't think about that. Me neither. Because, yeah, because his dad was the one having financial problems too. And then his dad bought him the jersey. Yeah. He said his daddy bought it for him. Oh. And so then he went there and killed himself. I thought that was so sad. Yeah. Did so, you see the white boy say, I wore this shirt twice this week? That, and, I was oh, like, that's, so that's like a whole, that's a whole episode we need to have. But like, that was one of the, the main things on there that was really important is that, cause somebody actually wrote an article about it before mm. about how white people don't worry about the things we worry about. Like, no. And we don't worry about white people doing other things. Yeah. <laughs> we only worry about our own. Like, the, like the kid said on there, I've worn the same shirt two days. And nobody has yeah, said two, two nothing. This weekend, nobody said nothing. But black people, you have to, you have to have like that's why people can't take Instagram. They don't want to take Instagram pictures because they're like, I already took a picture of this. I can't be seen in it again. Um, nigga, hell okay, no. be honest, you ain't never did that. I used to, but I like after a while, I was like, nigga, I ain't got money for that. I gotta keep <laughs> this shit finna get recycled. Yeah, I just ain't posting shit. Yeah, yeah I just ain't. Yeah, there's no posting no more. Post my pictures. I still be wearing. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Only time I, I post remember. a picture of something I've worn twice is because it was like a club pic or somebody else took the pic and I just and it was some other people in it and I just happened to have something on that I've had on before. And it's crazy. We went to Gloria's actually Sunday for brunch, and what I had on, I went. I I had the same thing on what I ordered Gloria's two years ago, and they was like, "Really, Ashley?" Like made a joke the whole time. I said, "I don't give a shit. I can yeah. still fit it." I, I stopped. <laughs> you should have right. said, "This is my glorious outfit." My, yeah, <laughs> I said, "I'm still cute in this motherfucker. Yeah. Like I'm good." Yeah, I stopped worrying about that a while back. Like. I like I used to be a time where you would really think about I can't wear this again. I, I mean, people just saw me in this, yeah. you know, yeah. two months I got ago, too old for this shit. and I'm like, man, like, I ain't got, mm-hmm. I ain't, yeah, I ain't got time or money to be like, I got to make sure I have a new outfit every time I go out. Man, y'all done seen me in this shit before. Yeah. That's why, I, and I, you know, I ain't the biggest Tiffany Haddish fan, mm-hmm. but that one, uh, the the that dress, dress that she bought, the yeah. dress she wore for like five different events. I, I feel that, like, I felt like I wish, I wish people had brought that up more. Mm-hmm. Because I black people need to that. see that we don't do that, like, because she she wore it. I forgot where she wore it first. We'll go broke trying like, to impress other people. It was one of the award shows. It was like Golden Globes or something. She wore it on Golden Globes, then she wore it on SNL, then she wore it on the to the Oscars. Yeah, she wore it to like five different events, and mm-hmm. like you could see it was the exact same dress. And she said it on SNL. She's like, I paid five thousand dollars for this dress. I'm wearing it every time I get a chance, and she actually wore it for every event. After that's that. cool. And I wish that's what I'm saying. I wish people had highlighted that more because black people need to see They're because it, it's us. To. Yeah. No, we don't. No, we don't do that because every time there's an event or something going on, we gotta buy an outfit for brand it. Outfit, new. Outfit, gotta get some new boots, shoes, yeah. hair. No, nah, if I got something in the closet, I'm gonna put that on yeah. because I ain't got the money to be buying an outfit every time I go somewhere because I like going places. Yeah. Y'all just gonna see me in the same shit a couple times. It's gonna be all right. Y'all yeah. survive. Yeah. True. Shit. If you don't like it, buy me some shit. All right. A couple more things. Well, one thing I do want to touch on, uh, the University of Florida, they had a little thing, and I, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but they had a graduation, and they were rushing kids off the stage. I mean, to an extent, I understand what they're saying. Oh, they, they targeted the black kids. From my understanding, from what I saw from posts from other people from the University of Florida, was that they were rushing everybody off the stage. 
because they told they told them before they came out there to not do anything extra on stage because they wanted to get through the program or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's a common rule for graduation. And so most people, you know, when you get off stage or you might do something on stage and then you get right back off. But apparently only their administration grabbed people while they were up there and pushed them on across the stage, which was out of line. So I'm not saying that but they, they said were, it was more forceful with the minority. Yeah, they said they were more forceful with the black kids than they were anybody else. And like I said, they if that is the case, then they are completely out of line for that. I mean, well, they, the, they was just jigging too hard. They had to grab her. You know yeah, what but I mean? at the, that's what I was gonna say. At the, <laughs> all that gyrating. And shit. At the same time, like I, I just. The way, I guess, they I guess, the, the way they was grabbing, I've never seen that before. I guess, I guess I, I'm coming from a different perspective because I, I work in a school. Mm-hmm. And so when you work in a school and you tell somebody to do something and then they outright defy you when you do it, it makes you feel some type of way. Now, I'm not going to say I never put my hands they on nobody paid, and what they did. They paid money to do what they got to do. So did everybody they else that can't get their name called. Well, and that's, and that's what a lot of people said too. Like, there was like, some arguments on social media or whatever. It was like, do you know what you gotta go through to get that degree and the, 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 what the school puts you through and all this other bullshit? That still doesn't give you a right to do that. Like you say, other people are there to hear their name called too. Mm-hmm. And stuff. Like I'm saying, that's, that's what a lot of people, a lot, cause this is not something new. A lot no, of schools tell yeah. you to the fact, like, hey, of you course, do some this, shit. we all know you ain't supposed to do that shit. Yeah. Case closed, we know. But they're yeah. gonna, it's gonna be some people that try. I'm sure at Prairie View, they did it. But this is my thing. Like we we, we like we discussed this too. They did. They would like go get the, the uh diploma from the president and stuff like that, and then get off the stage, out to the side, and then do what they want. Yeah. Like all of these people, whatever was like front and center, knew where the camera was. They found the camera yeah. and started doing. It looked their thing horrible to me, though. I was like, damn, it looks bad. And it was the fact that like it was him grabbing that really made it look. Yeah. Bad. It, the grabbing looked bad. Like I said, it was just like twofold. Like the him grabbing and stuff was was really bad. But then it was like. Every person after everybody he snatched up just kept doing shit. And it was yeah. just like, was this all like a plan? Yeah, just a plan. It, it felt just, like they planned it. Like they knew he was going to get mad. So they were just, hey, we all going to do some shit when we get which, up which, there. Which pisses me off because at the end of the day, was he wrong for putting his hands on him? Yeah, yeah I don't want nobody touching my of, child. Of course. But, then, me, but right. then you came with a plan to do some shit. And then now you just, now people trying to, you're trying to blow it up and like, oh my God, I'm so offended and stuff like that. It's like, it's, it's like you looking for shit to, Put out there. And I just, like, like we were just speaking on about the whole graduation thing. Uh, so one of the other big things about graduation is that, like, with black, po- black folks, especially, you know, people like to yell and scream and do all the oh, air, yeah. air horns, air sure. horns, all that. And so people be like, yeah, man, we going to celebrate because my baby done crossed the stage. I feel you. And I think that you should. You should be extremely happy and you should yell and scream and do all of that. But like, there should be a cutoff. Like give give you give yourself a good three four seconds of screaming and and you know making noise and all that, but then you have to stop. People will like keep going for like thirty seconds and then you can't even hear the names called after that. Yeah. So now you're looking up everybody after you. Everybody after you is not able to hear their child's name because they sat right in front of you. Unfortunately, yeah. They sat right in front of you while you blowing an air horn in their ear while their child's name. I can't hear my child name. They just graduated pre med or some shit. While your child got basket weaving degree and shit. Turn the fuck up. Hey, Turn the fuck I work hard for this basket weaving. God damn, you degree. cheated to get that damn degree too. You gotta do what you gotta do. No, you do. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I'm not gonna hate. Fuck yeah, I, I can never hate that. Get it how you can, because these schools, never, these schools are steady fucking you fuck left and right. You. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I can't knock anybody graduating because that, college is such a scam. But no, anyway. no, it is. A, it's a fucking scam. <laughs> a fucking scam. You know what I'm saying? You get these student loans, whatever, and the government fucks you. That's what yeah. they do. <laughs> <laughs> they, they you fuck you. No, no, if I do, they feel you. They, they, they fuck you with no flowers, no grease, no nothing. <laughs> no At least give you a kiss and tell they love you. I'm gonna do that. College is a scam, man. But you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why you telling you telling your diploma in your school talking about you love them? They putting their clothes on, leaving your ass in the bed, looking retarded. Uh-uh. Yeah, but anyway, you man. Me, that's that's the end of that, man. We we are gonna move on to the Wu-Tang yeah, segment, let's move man. You sound very <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't really like talking about it either because I, I really hate how much money I owe to the country. <laughs> yeah, those old to, school. Uh, Just be like, what the fuck? Loans. Like that. That shit is irritating. I, anyway, I, I look at my fucking credit report. Hey, I'm clean on everything, but student loans. Yeah, student loans ain't never going away. So I, I mean, I'm talking about. Yeah. So anyway, moving on. <laughs> Woo side segment. That's a good thing. To fuck go you, through. Sally May. <laughs> Yeah, we got Fed Loan Servicing now. Oh yeah, Fed Loan Service, AES Success, all and American not, Education not Services. 
Yeah. Navia. Uh, 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 but anyway, so Wusa. 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 All right, the Wusa segment for today is going to be uh, basically about polarizing your thoughts. So, I, like, we back on to behavioral therapy techniques. So, one of the things that you have to learn how to do when you're trying to control how do you react to and how you behave in certain situations is controlling your thoughts. Now, sometimes a lot of people suffer from polarized thoughts. Now, what polarized thoughts is, is it's like a pole, north and south pole, like you're on two different ends of the spectrum. Uh-huh. So, some people think it's either black or or white. And so they think of things in a really black or white context. People that, you know, people always say they hate gray areas. Yeah. But like the world is a gray area. Like yeah, everything um, is gray. Yeah. Right? Everything is by how you take it in context. Right. Yeah. And so like people that have polarizing thoughts, like they'll do something. And because they are looking for this result, because they don't get that result, they failed. And then they'll, they'll be depressed because of that. And so like one of the things about controlling your, you know, depression, behaviors, all that kind of stuff is that you learn how to not polarize everything. Everything, hardly anything is black and white. I always say not everything is black and white, but hardly anything is black and white. Everything operates in sort of a gray area. Mm. Like, so let's say like your goal was to go to the gym five times this week and you went three and you're like, I fucked up. This was a terrible week. This was not a very good week for me. I'll try again next week. And then you may only go two times next week. And then you're like, you know what? I don't think I'm ready for this. Let me just stop going for a while. And then when I start back up, I'm going to go five times a week. Like mm. you're thinking about it in like either I do five or I failed. And yeah. so, and, and, and that's, like that you, you just going period is a win. Right. Yeah. Th- there's a great area in there where you can say, okay, well, I mean, I've done something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I've, I've accomplished something. That's good. I can be happy with myself for doing something, but like too many people operate in like it's either I get it all or I get nothing. Yeah. So, I mean, and I think, and like I said, I just use that as an example, but it can be taken into whatever you want to take it to, whether it be relationships, marriage, kids, uh, job, whatever, salary. Like if, if there's, you can't operate anything in this world just thinking it's either this or bust. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically all I really have for the Wusa segment is just to kind of control your thoughts in the, in the manner of, Understanding that there is a gray area, you can operate in a gray area and you'll be fine. Ain't no gray area. There's got to be a gray area. You need a gray area. <laughs> you be you you one of the people I'm talking about. I know that sounds very sad. Like, don't you sad me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, so as far as the Wusa goes, just control your thoughts. Try to try to uh, you know when you get the chance to talk to your therapist because everybody should be seeing the therapist. I guess you have to talk to your therapist. Make sure they understand that, you know, if you've been having thoughts like this and then they can help you kind of work on those techniques because that's just a, the thought process in itself. There are many techniques that you can do to kind of practice putting yourself back into a gray area where you're understanding of the importance of a gray area. Not right. drinking. And I'm going to get drinking. a drink after this, probably. The what? I'm talking about drinking late on tonight, probably. Really? A long week. Oh. Yeah. I will go with you. I'm detoxing. I'm gonna. It's hot outside. God, this fuck outside. Get my mind and my body right. All you ignorant ass people talking about where's summer in Texas? We got those. It's all this winter. Yeah, shut the hell up. Yeah, summer here now. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, anybody got anything else before we get out of here? Any shout outs or? No. I mean, no, no people y'all want to say what's up. Any shout outs, comment, questions, concerns? Oh yeah, any comments, questions, concerns. The drop is at the beginning of the episode. Again, I just want to shout out to like the group me because we be having a conversation. Drop the episode drops in there, and then like we start talking about the episode. We actually we talk about random stuff too, just because people pop up questions randomly, and we have like discussions about. I don't even know what we talked about last time. It was random. Yeah, like it just be like all kinds of stuff coming because they'll be like, okay, I read this in the Bible the other day, and then like we have a conversation about that, or like last week we talked about you know Kanye. Mm-hmm. And in fact, that was before we had even like really dropped the episode. Somebody just asked about Kanye, and mm-hmm. it was a long discussion about how people felt about all the things that he was saying in his interviews and all of that. So, if you're not in the group, me get in the group, me. If you're in the group, me stay active because I even see people in there, and like even though like some people don't talk, I see them go through and like like all the yeah. comments and stuff. So it'd be like a lot of people that don't actually comment, but they actually are in there reading the conversation. So 
I just got to say, I appreciate Groom Me because it is a continuation of this conversation, which is what this podcast is all about, starting the conversation. So, yeah. All right. So, I guess we can get on up. You have anything next one? No. <laughs> Actually, I never had nothing, man. I got You got nothing? No. Okay. Well, as always, we hope you, you know what I'm saying, laughed a little, learned a lot, and we helped you, you know what I'm saying, find a remedy to whatever's ailing you. This is What's the Remedy Podcast. All right. All right. We all right, y'all. Mama said you better be home. Uh-huh. One of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, one of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, one of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, street lights on. Yeah. They ain't doing nothing but wrong. Uh-huh. One of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Hey, one of them street lights on. Uh-huh. Cause one of them street lights on. Uh-huh.